This video highlights and expands upon the thermoscientific Poros column packing protocols. Please refer to the protocols for detailed instructions. Protocols and other product information can be found at thermofisher.com slash poros. Thermoscientific poros chromatography resins are 50 micron polymeric beads that are chemically stable and inert. They can be used for the chromatography of biomolecules, including monoclonal antibodies, recombinant proteins, DNA, viruses, and peptides. Poros chromatography resins are mechanically rigid and incompressible and can be packed effectively in both low-pressure glass columns and in high-pressure stainless steel columns. The lack of wall support with increasing column diameter has minimal impact because the beads support themselves, allowing for flexible column packing approaches and consistent and robust results. Columns can be packed with traditional flow pack, axial compression, or pack-in-place stall pack packing methods. This video will walk you through the process of packing larger scale columns with Poros resins. For this demonstration, we will utilize Poros XS resin and a 9 cm diameter column. The steps in the process can be used for all 50 micron resins with minor differences in the packing factor, which will be highlighted later. Prior to beginning, please have the following equipment and items prepared. Chromatography system or column packing pump, Poros 50 micron resin, 10 or 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, 0.1 molar sodium chloride column packing solution, squirt bottle filled with packing solution, integrity testing solution or plug, 20% ethanol storage solution. Chromatography column. In this video, we will be utilizing a 9 cm diameter Essential Life Solutions Upscale column. Any commonly used column hardware may be used with Poros resins. Pressure gauge. 3 or 4-way valve. Paddle for re-slurrying if needed. Waste collection carboy. Large transparent graduated cylinder. Level. Laboratory tape or marker. Pipette calculator, and thermoscientific ChromaPro app. The general steps for the column packing process are prepare the slurry, pack the column, and qualify the column. Prepare the slurry. Poros resins are supplied in 20% ethanol or buffered ethanol. It is important to exchange the resin from the shipping solution into a packing solution in order to achieve consistent column packing results. For column packing Poros Ion Exchange and Affinity resins, exchange the 20% ethanol shipping solution with a 0.1 molar sodium chloride solution. Buffer exchange using repeated gravity settling. Allow the resin to settle in the shipping container. Settling requires greater than 4 hours because the density of the resin is approximately that of water. Carefully decant the supernatant. Do not disturb the bed. Some particles or turbidity may be present in the decant as beads slough off the settled bed or come loose from the carboy sidewalls. This is not problematic. Replace the supernatant with the same volume of the desired packing solution. Resuspend the resin by gentle agitation by hand, resin wand, air sparging, paddle, flat bed shaker, top mounted impeller mixer, or rotary mixer. Then allow the resin to settle by gravity. We are demonstrating resuspension by hand in this example. As with any resin, do not use a magnetic stirrer. It may abrade the particles and cause fines to form. Repeat exchange two to three times to thoroughly exchange into the 0.1 molar sodium chloride packing solution. If a larger volume of slurry is needed, this can be pooled into a larger vessel and a slurry sample taken. Verify that the slurry ratio is 50 to 70 percent by sampling 100 milliliters of slurry in a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder and by gravity settling for greater than four hours. The slurry concentration is calculated as the settled resin volume divided by the total solution volume. If needed, adjust the slurry concentration to 50 to 70 percent with 0.1 molar sodium chloride. 
pack the column. Use a three or four way valve on the top and bottom of the column if possible to allow bypass of the column and avoid introducing air during packing and column use. Place a calibrated pressure gauge at the inlet of the column. Determine the required slurry volume. The required slurry volume is equal to the target column volume divided by the slurry ratio times the packing factor of 1.06 with the exception of Poros XQ resin, which has a packing factor of 1.08. For this example, a 9 cm diameter by 10 cm length column with a volume of 640 milliliters and a slurry ratio of 60% would be calculated as follows. 640 divided by 0 0.60 times 1.06 equals 1.13 liters of slurry required. The 1.06 or 1.08 packing factor accounts for the difference in bed volume between a gravity settled bed and a three bar pressure packed bed. Gently re-slurry resin in shipping container and pour calculated volume into a graduated cylinder. Ensure that the column outlet is closed. Do not connect the column outlet to the chromatography system. Plumbing into the system creates back pressure that fights against the inlet pressure trying to settle the bed and pack the column. Ensure that the column is level and locked in place before beginning the pack. Deliver the required slurry volume to the column by hand or with a diaphragm pump, as dictated by your equipment and the intended packing procedure. Here we demonstrate pouring the resin by hand. Use a squirt bottle containing packing solution to remove any residual resin from the column wall. Poros resin beads have a skeletal density similar to the density of water and do not settle rapidly. Do not allow the resin to gravity settle in the column before packing. With the column inlet line connected to the system and the bottom outlet closed, bring the primed top flow adapter to 1 to 2 centimeters from the slurry level and tighten the O-ring. Do not push the resin up and over the O-ring. Change the top valve to force the air and liquid out the top of the adapter and to waste using the bypass line. Continue to lower the adapter slowly to remove the bubbles from the top of the column. Do not allow large air bubbles between the top adapter and the top of the resin slurry. For flow packing, initiate flow of your packing solution and pack at a flow rate at least 50% greater than the maximum operating flow rate for your chromatography operation. For column packing porous resins, we recommend a 0.1 molar sodium chloride packing solution. For this pack, we have increased the packing flow rate to 500 centimeters per hour or 530 milliliters per minute. This flow should yield a pressure higher than the desired operating pressure for all column steps. Caution, if the column is not packed at a high enough flow or pressure, flowing a more viscous solution, like a cleaning solution, over the column at the same flow rate will further compact the bed and create a head space. Change the valve back to flow through the system on the top and open the column bottom. To initiate flow, start the chromatography system pump. Increase the flow rate to the maximum or desired flow rate and pressure obtainable with the equipment used. While adjusting the flow rate and forming the bed, you may observe some turbidity in the effluent as packing begins. This will clear as packing proceeds and one to two bed volumes of packing buffer pass through the column. The bottle on the left was sampled at the start of the pack and the bottle on the right was sampled towards the end of one column volume. Continue flow until a clear space forms between the column top adjuster and the slurry, approximately two column volumes. Monitor the pressure. It will gradually rise as the column packs. Reduce the flow rate if the packing pressure approaches the system pressure limit. After the bed is formed, close the column outlet and displace liquid through the top of the adapter to waste using the bypass line. Bring the adapter into contact with the top of the bed without pushing the resin over the O-ring. Poros resin does not shrink or swell, so an open headspace is not recommended. Flow at the packing flow rate again for one to two column volumes, taking note of the bed height at the desired pressure. 
Adjust the adapter as described in the previous step to the noted bed height by displacing the liquid through the top of the adapter and to waste. After the column is packed, flow two to three column volumes of packing solution through the packed bed at the operating flow rate to stabilize the bed. The flow rate used should generate no more than 80% of the final packing pressure. If you will reverse the flow of the column during operation, condition the column in upflow. Flow two to three column volumes in upflow at the operating flow rate. Flow two to three column volumes in downflow at the operating flow rate, then adjust the adapter if needed. Flow two column volumes after you adjust the adapter. This graph shows a typical pressure flow curve of a Poros 50 micron resin. Poros 50 micron resins can be operated at high linear flow rates with a pressure drop that allows use with conventional low-pressure chromatography columns and systems. The column and system back pressures have been subtracted, so this curve represents the packed bed back pressure only. Pressure flow response on Poros columns is linear and predictable and will not change based on column diameter. Qualify the column. Ensure uniform column plumbing. Avoid using reducers to connect different tubing sizes. Minimize and keep the column tubing lengths consistent between the plug solution to the column inlet and the column outlet to the detector. For most porous ion exchange and affinity resins, the recommended column integrity qualification parameters are flow rate, operating flow rate, centimeters per hour, column packing solution for integrity equilibration, 0.1 molar sodium chloride. Integrity testing solution, 1 molar sodium chloride. Integrity testing volume, 2% of column volume. For Poros XQ, the column integrity qualification parameters are flow rate, operating flow rate, centimeters per hour. Column packing solution for integrity equilibration, 0.5 molar sodium chloride. Integrity testing solution, 2 molar sodium chloride. Integrity testing volume, 4% of column volume. If the packing buffer is different from the mobile phase, equilibrate the column for at least 4 column volumes with the mobile phase. Execute at the flow rate defined for the intended unit operation typically 100 to 300 centimeters per hour. Monitor conductivity for sodium chloride. Qualification results depend on a number of factors, including the solutions and method used, scale, column hardware, and chromatography system. After you define a column qualification procedure for a specific system, column plus chromatography system, Base the qualification acceptance criteria on historical values and ranges instead of theoretical qualification results. Performing the column qualification method consistently and reproducibly is critical to obtaining meaningful results. This graph shows the column qualification peak. The peak void volume of a porous column is typically 0.7 to 0.8 column volumes. Please refer to the protocols for further details on packing larger scale columns with thermoscientific poros resins. Thermo Fisher Scientific Field Application Specialists are also available to conduct on-site packing demonstrations. For more information or to contact us, please visit thermofisher.com/poros.